Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has arrived in Washington for a two-day visit that will involve a meeting with President Biden at the White House. He's already bottled out of throwing the first pitch at a baseball game, usually an honour granted to VIPs. And why would he do that when he's so good at cricket? Come on, Rishi! But can he repair the special relationship or is it just a British fantasy? Well, joining me now from Washington is talking to the political editor, Kate McCann, who has interviewed the Prime Minister today. So, Kate, um, a big, big trip, this, isn't it, for Rishi Sunak? Over in Washington, meeting the president, they're rolling out the red carpet. He's already bottled the baseball, which I think is ridiculous. He should have done it, taken his chances. He can throw a cricket ball, he can certainly throw a baseball. Um, but what's, what's, what's the mood about Rishi Sunak over there? Yeah, it's a really interesting one, Piers. These trips are always watched really carefully for people to see how well the two men, the President, the Prime Minister, get on. Is the backslapping? Do they look like their friends? Or is it a bit of an icy relationship? And this is no different. In fact, it's probably even more important because outside of the European Union, Rishi Sunak is using this opportunity to make the case that the UK should be at the forefront of what he believes will be one of the most difficult areas of policy making in the next 10 years, artificial intelligence. He's here to sell the idea that he's the man for the job. He wants to work with President Biden as a leader in this field. Of course, we know how important AI is in America. But I think the big question for Rishi Sunak here is whether that message is really going to penetrate. We know that America is always America first. It's why trade deal talk is firmly off the table. We also know that the Americans have their own agenda when it comes to the economy and probably AI too, and that the UK isn't necessarily the first option when it comes to working out a code of conduct, which they are already talking to the European Union about. So that question of the special relationship, how special is it? Can it be rebooted, if you like, which is what the Prime Minister hopes? It's very much open and we'll all be watching that meeting between the two men very carefully tomorrow, I think. Well, I'll be watching to see if President Biden even knows how to pronounce Rishi Sunak's name. Remember this, when Sunak won the race to be PM. Just today, we've got news that Rashid... Rashid... Sanuk is now the Prime Minister. Rashid Sanuk. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty breathtaking to get both parts of his name wrong. Um, you actually did ask the Prime Minister today about this, which I thought was very brave and quite correct. Let's take a look. I mean, do you think President Biden gets it, though? I mean, he's got your name wrong twice, I think it is now. I mean, it doesn't leave people with a huge amount of confidence in his ability to keep up with, I mean, the pace of change of UK prime ministers, let alone artificial intelligence. Well, actually, we discussed artificial intelligence when we were in Japan together, the president and I, and I know he is also uh, aware of the challenges and opportunities that it poses. In fact, the US and the UK are, the, I think, the only two countries that have hosted all the major artificial intelligence companies together in one forum. I did that in Downing Street a few weeks ago. Uh, the president of the White House did that a little while ago as well. So I think both of us are thinking about these things in the same way. Well said, Rashid. Um, so, Kay, I mean, look, he's very diplomatic there, but there's no doubt Biden's age and his performance at the moment, where he keeps either falling over, stumbling, you know, saying the wrong thing, it is a concern, isn't it, when the leader of the free world looks to be basically cognitively incompetent. Yeah, and I think actually that feeds into why Rishi Sunak believes now is the prime time for him to take the opportunity and to offer to lead on AI, artificial intelligence. In fact, I went on to ask him again during that exchange, do you think that Biden gets it? Because, you know, this is... In some essences, you know, it's a young person's game. It's a brand new technology. A lot of us, I included, I don't understand it fully. We should definitely know more about it. So I pushed the Prime Minister again and said, you know, is it really something that a young leader like yourself ought to be leading on? And he was very careful in the approach to that question. No prime minister is going to arrive in America and criticise an American president. But I think there are some concerns behind the scenes, not just on the British side, but others too, about the American president, about the potential for him to go on, to continue to be the American president, and whether... You know, he has his eye on this, whether his policy making in other areas is right. I mean, we know that Rishi Sunak's uh, attitude, if you like, to some of his economic policies is not, let's say, aligned. So I think it's certainly a concern and it'll be really fascinating to watch tomorrow the, the relationship and the attitude between those two men because Biden himself has taken that on and said, yeah, I make mistakes. Not one every press conference, but I do make them. But I think it's fair to say he probably makes more than most other leaders that we can all, uh, we can all think about. Yeah, well, it will be gripping tomorrow.
tomorrow and we will have you back on Piers Morgan Uncensored twice in the same week. I feel so spoiled, Kate McCann. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but have fun over there. I'm jealous. I wish I was there. I love Washington. Uh, good to see you, Kate. We'll talk tomorrow.